Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So today our class is to understand the gravitational potential V and then to understand the gravitational potential energy U. Okay. <clears throat> so this one is a diagram. So we have the earth here. Then the earth, the mass of earth is a m, big m, and then the radius of the earth is r. Then here is your uh, mass, and then mass. So the the mass, the object with the mass m, and then the distance between the object to the center of earth is x. Okay, so we apply the force here to the distance delta x. So when we apply the force to the object, so then what happened to the object? The object is moving in delta x. Displacement delta x. Okay, so we continue. The work done by the force F to the bring the mass through a small distance delta x. So here is the force and then the object is moving in the small distance delta x. So we apply the mechanic physics for the work. W is equal to the Fs. And then work is the energy. So we can write as a delta U. So delta U in, in this case is the change of your uh, gravitational potential energy. And then F from the equation F is equal to the G M small m over the x power of 2 where m is the gravitational force. So we can replace here. So we have the delta U is equal to the G M big M small m over the x power of 2 delta x. M in this case is the mass of Earth. And then small m is for the mass of the object. Here. Big M is mass of the Earth. And then the small m is mass of the object. So we then we continue. To move the mass m from infinity to the point R from the Earth. So, to move the mass from infinity to point R, where the point R is uh, uh, any distance from the Earth. Then, we integrated delta U equals to the integrated for the R infinity G M M over the X power of 2 delta X. Then, we can apply the mathematic here. Then we can get this equation. Then we can get this equation. Negative del G M M over the R minus bracket minus G M M over the infinity. So over infinity. So in this case, this value is equal to zero. So therefore, we can get this equation. Gravitational potential energy as a U is equal to the negative G gravitational constant m mass of the earth m mass of the object over the r distance from the center of earth then so we continue gravitational potential at a distance up from the earth we can write as a v equals to the u over the m u is the gravitational potential energy then we can get we can write as a negative G M M over the R over the R then M R so we can say here so we can get this equation so gravitational potential at the distance R from the Earth we can write as the V is equal negative G M over the R then so because we have the negative so we plot the graph V against the R 
so here is the graph for the gravitational potential here and then it's equal to v negative gm over the r so we can write as a v is inversely proportional to the r so this means v is inversely proportional to the negative r so we plot the graph is here then r is the radius of earth then it's referred to the surface of the earth so now you hopefully you can understand what is mean by the gravitational potential v and then gravitational potential energy for that uh, thank you very much